road game? Well, I think you know after after the last game, it's it's uh, good to get back in front of our fans. Uh, you know, hopefully have a great crowd and draw well, some of the energy. I think the guys are excited, and I think they can they can see uh, they're getting better. You know, when you were first hired, everybody said you know they're going to play hard for Joe Do Do you feel like these kids are really giving it all, playing as we're hard as they can? Hard. Yeah, we're, we're trying hard. We need to try a little smarter. I think that's part of the progression. I think that we are giving good effort, but the, the flip side of that deal is you should always try hard. I mean, I, you know, playing hard is, is something that should be a standard, not a every you know it's, it's an everyday deal, not a Sunday deal. Jenny Gardner, he uh, three-time freshman player of the week, first conference player to ever have a double double with. 30, at least 30 points and 20 rebounds. How important has he been? He's, been? he's had a great year so far, and I think the big thing for him is it's, he's been consistent. He's been consistent in his effort and practice. Um, I think it's shown in the, in the games that you know he he's, he's goes after the ball. He's relentless. He pursues the ball. Uh, he's not afraid, and I think he's going to be a great cornerstone for us going forward. And yeah, he's been vocal about being committed to this program. How important is that for you? And Energizing ECU basketball. Oh, it's not just recruiting, it's retention. I, mean, I think you need to not only recruit the players, you need to retain and develop them. And that's uh, you've got a good situation, he's got a great situation as a player, he can be a foundational type person. Um, and I think the big thing is he can be a leader and you're starting to come in as a freshman. Temple presents a myriad of problems for you, you know, offensively. Uh, and defensively, but uh, particularly offensively. Talk about them a little bit and what you got to do against them. Well, the three guards provide 66% of the points, which is a big, you know, big part of it. And, uh, they also, I think, have 58 or 59 more steals than their opponents. They do turn you over and get you out of transition, which is a major thing. I mean, I think that, you know, uh, Austin is an elite player. Their guards are all very good uh, with Rose and uh, Pierre Louis. Those guys can all score a bunch of different ways, so we've got to get back and guard their yard. I'm excited. I feel like I went on a little vacation. Uh, we've gone for like five days, and it's just nice to come back home and see our fans. I love seeing our fans. It was packed last time we were here, so I hope we have some similar out. What's the balance like? Y'all are doing so many good things and positive things, obviously what you did, but if it comes in close losses, is it tough to kind of balance the, the positives and then you know the wins, losses of each game? Yeah, but at the end of the day, we all know we're getting better because we're trying our hardest. We just have to learn how to win, and we're young, so we just have to learn how to win, keep trusting the coach duly, just never let us astray, and we just got to keep playing hard. What are the things about Temple that kind of get your attention when you look at those, uh, those players on, on film? Uh, they're really athletic, and they can really take the guys off the bounce and really make tough, tough shots. That's what I saw from the film yesterday. That 35 and 20 line against Taco Fall, how are you able to get that off against such a, a high difference within the paint? I just credit Coach Chills for coming in and telling me you just got to play like a guard. You got to make them come out and guard you. So I just try to start the game off with some jump shots. And when I went to the basket, just got to be crafted around the basket. Don't get fouled. Just play my game. You've always been a confident guy, but you know, that type of performance. Do you feel like you're just, your confidence growing even more and hitting some, some outside shots you know, with that? I just feel like I just keep getting better and better. And like Coach Dooley, I heard him say, I haven't reached my ceiling yet. So I just have to keep working every day in and out to keep getting better. Any thoughts on what the crowd might be like tomorrow? I know y'all are trying to push for student support and that kind of stuff. I hope it's rocking because we're going to go out there and play hard like we, like we usually do. And we're going to try to get this W for not just the fans, but our teammates and coaches. How important is it going to be for you guys to get this thing heated up from beyond the arc tomorrow night against a team like Temple? It's going to be very important because um, they play fast in transition. They swarm the ball once we drive. So. Me, uh, me, other shooters, KJ, we got to be able to be ready to shoot. After two tough road games, how good you know, is it to get back home? Uh, it's great being uh, being home with the fans. You know, that's, that's um, their motivation. It helps us a lot, so we, it's good. It's good time. How tough is this league? Did you guys, you just mentioned it, play two of the better teams. Now you come home, face the Temple team, it's 13-3, and, and they're really good. Uh, it's tough. This, this is a powerhouse league, you ask me. So we just we got to be ready and prepared every night, every team we play. What have you seen so far on film about Temple? Um, athletic, fast, um, Shiz, he's the leading scorer in the conference. So it's just, they get up a lot of shots real up-tempo, so we've got to um, key down and guard the actions and stuff. They seem to have a lot of size.